What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Danny X. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna talk about photography startup gear, things that you need. Let's take you already have your camera, because I don't think you're gonna start a photography career without a camera. You already have your camera. So you're asking yourself, what else can I invest in? Or what do I need beside the practice and actually obtaining the skill? The first thing you're gonna need is lighting. Lighting, lighting, lighting. Lighting is more important than any other thing in photography. I can put it on top just like I started with it now. I believe lighting is 90% photography as I had and I came to believe. So what I can advise you is to buy a speed light. You can buy a cheaper one online or you can also invest in one from Facebook market. It depends where you're from. Facebook market, Amazon, anywhere you can buy this, you know. This one is a Nikon speed light. It's a second hand. I bought it uh, on Facebook market. It's a second hand. Uh, it, it, it accepts double A batteries, you know, four of them right here. I like this speed light, but I don't use it as my main light. I use the Godox V850 Mark II. This was the first speed light, actually the second speed light I bought, because the first one I bought it was a Yongyo. It never survived the day after I just got it delivered. I had a shoot and then it just went down and it broke. And then I invested on more quality speed light. A more quality speed light which is the godox v850 mark ii now they sell the v860 mark ii but it's still the same brand you know this actually is the best speed light you can ever buy compared to something like this that only accepts double a batteries this one has a v12 battery on a, on, a, on a busy wedding i can charge this twice to get all the pictures because usually on weddings, I don't use full power. I usually use half a power. But yeah, I would advise you to, to, to invest in something like this. Speed light, lighting, invest in lighting, master lighting. Once you master lighting, you will set difference in clients and also in quality, you know. So this is the first thing you have to get after you just put your camera. Buy a speed light. Don't just rush for big uh, lights. Those ones, you can invest in them when you want to grow. You don't rush for bigger cars while you don't even know how to drive the small ones. You have to first master the small ones, then you can go big. Get a speed light, use it, master it. This one came with a trigger. This is the X-Pro trigger when I bought it. And that's when I was introduced to off-camera lighting. The second thing you're going to need after you've done mastering your light, now you see your pictures are coming well, you're getting more clients, and then you feel like, no, I'm tired, I'm tired. I need to, to get more, to invest more on equipment. It's a lens, you know. This is a kit lens. This one came with a camera. It's not good for quality work, important work, clients work. It's good for going out, taking pictures with friends, showing on posting on instagram telling people where you have been this one is good it's good for beginner it's good for practicing but it's not good for serious work this is a prime this is a 50 millimeter 1.8 prime this is the cheapest professional lens you can ever get anywhere if you want those blurry backgrounds you know uh smooth looking images uh sharp focus you know uh shooting the dark man if you want to be bad man buy this invest in this one uh, this is a fast lens anything below 2.8 if you see a lens they're selling it cheaper and it's written 2.8 f 2.8 don't think about who you're owing or how much you have if you have that money just run and buy it man make sure it's capable for your camera mount you know this one is a nikon one i'm using a nikon d 400 now to record this video this is very important, man. This will take your lighting and practice to the next level. Invest in lighting, man. This room is hot. The third thing, oh, this is for the third thing, third thing you're gonna need is batteries, man. Extra batteries. Don't be me. I, I remember the first time I started, I only had one battery. Had one battery. 
got bigger gigs, started taking pictures, seeing ladies dancing, seeing the lights, seeing the artists dancing. You know, usually I started as an event photographer. Then, battery runs out. Big artist, artist of the moment, just walks in on stage. He's about to perform. And then Dan is just waiting, waiting for battery. Please fill up, please fill up, please fill up. You know, don't be me. For a speed light, you can get at least 16 batteries. I, I don't know, 16 AA batteries. Make sure all of them are rechargeable. For your camera, at least the minimum have three, not lower than three, have three. So you can charge the other one while using the other one, while the other one is on standby. I understand you have a charger that came with the camera. It's good, it's nice. Put it on the plug, wait for it to charge, then now they decided we are moving to another location there's no power there there's nothing you're not ready you know you're not ready it's like okay guys now i have a problem we don't have power here and i only have two batteries left now and this shoot is gonna last for eight hours or more what are you gonna do buy universal charger this baby i, I had this baby for two years my first charger exploded. I don't know what was wrong with it. Then someone advised me to buy this one. You can charge it on your car. You can charge it also with uh, electricity power. As like other chargers. You can charge it with USB. USB. You can put your power bank here and charge this thing. On the go. Imagine having a charger that you don't have to wait for it. You know, it's just waiting for you. Like the battery will be waiting for you. It's like you are walking with a, a, a microwave or an oven, you know. The food is just being prepared while you're still preparing the lettuce and all those things. This is the one, man. Get this thing. Get a universal charger. Make sure it supports USB in. So you can put your power bank here. And also get a power bank. You can put your power bank here and let it charge. Let it charge, let it charge while you're busy taking pictures, taking pictures of kids running, taking pictures of brides, holding and picking up the bride. You know, you are, you are there, you are ready. Everything is fine, man. Like you don't have a problem, you know. The next important thing that you need to have is memory cards, SD cards, space, more, more and more space. I, I can never tell you how many of these things you need to have, but you have to have them. You know, these things are, are also in, important, close important to batteries. Imagine carrying laptops. Now you have to run and go transfer the work and then come back with the same SD card that you have. The time you're gonna spend going to reload or upload those pictures is time that you need to use capturing the, those moments. You know, you need more space, more space. Doesn't matter if you're taking pictures or videos, you just need more space. When this one is full, take it out, put it in your pocket or somewhere safe, put another one, start taking pictures, man. So this is the next important thing that you need to have. The last thing, the last thing that you need to have or invest on is a power bank. This one is a solar charge, solar panel charger thingy. I don't know. I haven't tried it and tested if it works, but where I'm from, it can get really, really, really hot. I have about three of these. This one I think is a 20,000 milliamp or something. Please have a minimum of two power banks so you can power your charger, universal charger. You need these things. Get two of these. If you can afford the one that comes with a battery, good. Get one of it. Get this thing, universal. It will keep you going forever. This one will make sure this baby is running. And also this one will make sure that this baby is running. But also, this one will make sure that this baby never gets tired. All these things are the things that you need to start up your photography career, you know. All these things on the table, these are the most important things that you need so far. King 10 ex I'm about to sign out. If you like this video, man, I know it's long. If you like this video, just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, man. This will motivate me to put more videos like this to give you more advice on how I run my photography career. Like this video and always King Danny X signing out.